six. Today we're going to be making the rocket ship. So I'm going to be working with the same red that we worked with to make Mars and this blue and then of course gray for your background. And um, the graph starts with five, five uh, rows of gray in the corner. So we're going to, we're going to jump in with the five rows completed. So pause the video, get five rows, and then we will get started on the rocket ship. I forgot to also mention that you're going to need a, just a tiny little bit of yellow for the for the flames on the bottom of the rocket ship. So here we have our first five rows. And our last one went up. So now we're going to be starting down for one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to work one, two, three blocks with gray. So I'm going to do my increase here with gray. Then I'm going to work two more with gray. Then I'm going to join red. And we're going to work two blocks in red. And then for that last stitch, you're going to join a little bit of yellow, or you could do orange. But I did yellow just so that I didn't have to buy another skein of yarn, since we're using yellow, this darker yellow for the sun. Um, if you have a little bit of orange in your stash, then that would be perfect for this. And we're going to work that last block in yellow. Okay, so that was our last one, and then we're going to be flipping and working from the bottom. So we need to make a gray here. So this is where you would join your second gray bobbin or second ball of yarn. You're going to pull it through and start your increase. So the, the yellow is the first chain and then you're going to chain four more for a total of five just like you would any other time that you're increasing one two three four five and then this block is going to be gray you're going to flip And the first one is gray, and then we're going to work two red, and then we're going to work one, two, three, four blocks in gray. Okay, so working from the top down, we're going to work once, we're going to start with our one gray block for the increase. We're going to flip and we're going to work one, two, three more for a total of four gray on that row. Then we're going to work one, two, three in red. 
three red blocks. And the last one of that row is going to be gray. Okay, so starting the next row, we're going to work the beginning block is going to be the gray, a gray increase. And then the next one will also be gray. And then we'll work two red. And then to finish the row, we're going to work one, two, three, four, five gray blocks. Okay, starting on the next row, we're going to start with a gray increase for the first block. One, two, three more in gray. Then we're going to work one, two, three, four in red. And you're going to have to stretch it down and work over the tail. So join it. So join it down here and leave it loose so that you can work over the end. Okay, so we're going to make the other little flame under the rocket here, and uh, I'm going to cut this yellow end. And then join it right here. So join it through the first chain, two, three, four, five. And flip it and then you're gonna work one two three four five six with red and I'm just gonna cut yellow to get it out of the way and you're gonna have to do the same thing again because we're skipping two blocks so you're gonna have to bring the red down Keeping it nice and loose so that you can work the, the, the end in. Okay, so there's our six. And then we're going to work one, two, three, four in gray. Okay, starting on the next row, we're going to start with a gray increase block. Then work one, two, three more in gray. Okay, then we're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in red. Okay, and then that last block will be gray. Okay, working from the bottom up in the next row, we're going to start with a gray increase block. 
slip. And you're going to work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with red. Okay, and then we'll finish the row with one, two, three, four blocks in gray. Okay, starting the next row, we're going to start with a gray increase block. Then we're going to work one, two, three, four more gray blocks. And then work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in red. There we go. So we're going to finish the row with one, two gray blocks. Okay, so on the next row, we're going to start with a gray increase. Flip. Then we're going to work one more gray. Okay, then we're going to work one, two, three, four, five red. Okay, so now you're going to take just a little teeny bit of white, just a teeny little couple yards, and you're going to work one. So we're going to make this little window. So you're going to work one block with white. And just carry your red through. So put your red right there, lay it behind where you're going to work your stitch and work it through so you can carry it and have it when you're going to work the next block. Okay, so here's my end. And uh, I just carried it through that block. And then you're going to work one, two with red. Okay, and then we're going to finish out the row by working one, two, three, four, five in gray. Five, five gray blocks. Okay, starting the last increase row. We're going to start with one gray. We're going to work one, two, three, four in red, gray. Okay, now we're going to join our blue. And we're going to work one blue.
and then follow that by one red. I'm gonna do two white and um, be sure to bring the red up with you. So you're gonna work it in there so that you can have it two, two blocks up when you're gonna start your red again. So you've carried it through and now it's here and so you're, you're done with white so you're going to work one, two red. And then finish out the row with one, two, three, four, five gray. So our gray is all the way up here so we're going to have to bring it down and work back over the tail. You don't want it super loose, but you definitely don't want it tight. You just want it where you can comfortably work over the tail. Okay, so that ends the increasing. So now we're going to start decreasing to finish off the square and get smaller. To start from the top, and we're going to start with one, two, three, four gray. So we're going to chain three, flip, and slip stitch up into the next, the square above it. And then we're going to work four blocks of gray. Whoops, so I, I actually should be working up from the bottom on this one. Ah, I'm sorry. So it should go one, two, three, Four, and luckily it was the same count and I didn't mess you up so from here you're gonna work one two three in red okay and then we're gonna work one white and make sure you carry your red through so you're gonna kind of lay it behind and work it through it so you have it And then work one red. And then work two blue. blue. And then finish it out with one, two, three, four gray blocks. Okay, starting the next row, we're going to chain three, flip, and then slip stitch into that first block. So we're starting from the top. We're going to work one, two, three. Four gray blocks. And then we're going to work one, two blue blocks. And then one, two, three, four red blocks. And then we're going to finish out the row by working gray. So we're going to do one, two, three, four blocks in gray. Okay, starting the next row, we're going to chain three. And flip, slip stitch into that first block. Okay, and we're going to start with one, two, three, four blocks in gray. We're going to work one, 
two, three in red. And then work one, two, three blocks in blue. And then work one, two, three blocks in gray. Okay, so we're going to chain three and move on to the next row. Join with a slip stitch. And then work one, two, three blocks in gray. And then work one, two, three blue blocks. And then two red. Okay, so we're going to stop mid-row and clip the red so we can at least get one color out of this mangled yarn mess. And then you're going to finish the row with one, two, three, four gray blocks. Alright, we're getting closer, you guys. Okay, so starting from the bottom... Let's see, did we finish it out? We did. So starting from the bottom, we're going to work one, two, three, four, five in gray. So chain three, flip, slip stitch, and then work five gray blocks. And then you're going to work one, two, three, four blue blocks. And then finish it with two gray blocks. Okay, starting the next row, we're going to do two gray blocks. So we're going to chain three and flip. And we'll do one, two, three blue blocks. And then finish it with one, two, three, four, five gray blocks. Okay. For the next row, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, All right, let's do five, and then we're gonna get the blue over where we need it. So we're gonna chain three and flip. And then work five blocks in gray. Okay, so because we're going to need the blue all the way up here, we're going to carry it up. You can also, if you don't want to carry it, you can also cut it and then reattach it up here. So whichever way that you prefer to do. If you do that, you'll have the extra tails. But if you carry it, you can also kind of see it. So there's pros and cons to both. So I'm going to carry it. So I'm going to carry it through two stitches. or two blocks, sorry, not two stitches, two blocks. Okay, and then you're going to work the blue, one last blue block, and then you're going to want to carry your gray through this one. Well, no, because you have that other gray on the other side. So you can just drop your gray.
And then you can cut your blue. I'm excited about that because mine is so tangled. Tangled up in my gray. And then finish the row with a gray. Okay, so from this point you are all done with your color work. So just finish the rest in plain gray. Continue with your decreases and just use gray to finish up. Okay, so that completes our rocket ship. So I hope you're enjoying this crochet along. Thanks so much for watching.